it comes to riding off-road, most people look towards a purpose-built machine, but there's a certain charm in taking something off-road, which goes against its original design brief. Well, at this year's ABR Festival, we did just that. What's happening people, it's Bobby here and we are back again in the garage taking another look at a new motorcycle. This time we have the TNT 125 from Benelli. Now the eagle-eyed of you watching may notice something a little bit different about this TNT. These are primarily a road bike and they normally come with road tyres, but as you'll see on this one, we fitted a pair of Maxxis Nobblies. And for good reason, a few weeks ago we were at the ABR Festival, a festival dedicated to those who enjoy adventure bikes. And we thought we'd put the TNT through its paces and see how it did as an off-road bike. Let's have a look. Yeah, that was right, that. Everyone who had the chance to ride one of the TNTs came back grinning like a Cheshire cat. With a few more mods, like an engine guard, raised mud guards, and a few other trick bits and pieces, I'm confident you could build a very capable little urban adventure machine. In fact, in the unlikely event this video gets enough likes and comments, I'll try and convince the gaffer to let us build one. While we've got the TNT, it'd be rude not to go into a few specs and features like we normally do and give you the full lowdown on exactly what this bike has to offer. Suspension is taken care of by a set of oversized 41mm upside down front forks. Over on the rear, a chunky adjustable monoshock. Braking wise on the front we have a drilled 210mm disc with a 3 piston caliper and over on the rear we find a 190mm disc with a single piston caliper. Lighting and visibility on the TNT is on point thanks to this typically Italian and bonkers quad LED projector headlamp. The rear tail light and front and rear indicators are also LED. The clocks have a nice sporty feel to them and they remind me somewhat of the Cosso clocks popular in the tuning scene. 
The engine in the TNT125 is a single cylinder fuel injected air oil cooled four stroke motor, which is mated to a five speed gearbox. It manages to put out 11 bhp and 10 newton meters of torque. Performance wise, the TNT can quite happily sit at 65 miles per hour with a little bit more to give. Acceleration is good for a 125, which is somewhat helped by the fact the TNT only weighs 125 kilograms. Right, that pretty much brings us to the end of another video. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned a bit more information about the amazing little TNT 125. If you have enjoyed the video, please drop a like on the video, comment down below if you've got any questions, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps us bring you more of these videos in the future. As always, I'll leave some links down below in the description so you can find out where to buy these from, how much they cost. I'll probably even pop a little link there for the tyres so you know which Maxxis tyres we've actually fitted to this in order to have a bit of fun off-road. As always, peace and pistons.